case of the missing barbecue smoker has been solved. Late this afternoon, that smoker was returned to where it belongs, the main market on Outer Broadway in Bangor. When it was stolen last month, it put Bethany Gregory's plan to run a food truck on hold. She took to social media asking for the smoker's return. Today, a man walking in the woods near Brownville came upon that cooking equipment, and he thinks he knows how it got there. If I had to guess, they probably saw how much media coverage it got and how big of a story it became. And they were like, I'm not going to try to sell this or hold on to it because it's a well-known stolen smoker. So I'm thinking they just kind of dumped it out there. And I don't know what their plan was, but I'm glad it went back to its rightful owner. I was just in shock, really. I was just like, where, like how? And then when they told me in the middle of the woods, I was like, that's crazy. But I'm just happy it's back, to be honest. Gwendolyn Gregory's mother owns the market and told us to replace that cooker would have cost her $10,000. The pair have been running the Scotch Bonnet food truck with a borrowed smoker for a few weeks.